Hi there, Alec from Vacuum Spot. Going to show you quickly how to change the filters on your Dyson DC20. Look, over time, I know these are meant to be lifetime, but over time they do just become worn and need to be changed. So if you haven't done this in a couple of years, it's really a good time to get in and do it. First filter is underneath this lever, so easily marked with a blue dot, even if your blue dot's worn off. That filter is out, and we replace that with a new one. Really easy, there's not much to this, it just literally sits in place and there you go. The exhaust filter though is the one that most people aren't aware of. Basically this little lever here, if you bring it forward just gently, that lifts up and you get to see this filter. You always have to turn this one over because if they look like that, that's too old, you need to change it. This particular machine, you can either refit a new HEPA filter, like so, or you can just as easily fit the standard exhaust filter. If your machine is a few years old and you don't have asthma allergies, I would actually use a standard filter. It helps to cool the motor a little bit because the air flows through quicker. Um, and so it, it very easy, just sits in there, like so. Push that down gently. That really is it. Every couple of years is all it needs to keep your machine running cool for the best possible suction. If it looks like this, it's got to go. Alright, that is it. Simple tips from Alec at Vacuum Spot. If this was helpful, please hit subscribe or give the video a thumbs up. Thanks.